when the hurricane came around, we sat it in. My mom told us not to worry about it. We did boarded up the house and that's it. I got word once the storm started hitting, it started shaking the house. The lights went out, water was off, gas was off, it cut off. We got flooded a day after Katrina. When the house flooded, I was with my friends and we thought that the water was gonna stop up to the steps. So when somebody came through and said that the water was gonna get up to like 10, 20 feet. So I got my stuff and I left. Before I left, my mama left to the soup, you know, and they, she was on dialysis. She's been on dialysis for like, I forgot how long, around six years. And they shipped her off to Alexandria, I think. My friends, they left too before me, and my daddy stayed on the roof and put the dogs on the roof with him. Him and his friends stayed up there, and I went to the Superdome. The funny part about it is, I went to the Superdome on a box spring, a tire, and a cat with me. People were looting, right? And they went to Universal, and the box spring this just started floating out. If they had the plastic on there and the box spring in there, you could float on it. And the tires, they float automatically. We, we found that out in a little while. From off that boat, I fell. It was in a construction site. I fell in the hole. And I had to get up on one of the boats and start swimming off. Because I fell off the bed, the bed started tipping over because they had too much water in it. It was almost over my head, almost. It was like five and a half feet. I brought a crate with me, a crate. And the only thing I had in that crate was the key to my dog chain. That's the only thing I brought with me. That, I ain't had no change of clothes, no night. I was soaking wet in for like three days. I, I done seen things normal people I haven't seen. I found the dead body underneath the bridge while I was walking, because I had dropped my shoes over the bridge. And I went all the way around, it was dark, it was pitch black. There was a dead body on the side of the bridge. And I heard the footsteps behind me. They had like black jackets on. So I wasn't gonna be the next one laying on the side of that boy, so I left. Before we got on the buses, we was like hot and sweaty and from the military people, they started pointing guns and stuff, so it's kinda scary. They were like, all right, cool. From there, um, people started dropping like house flies from the heat because I started catching heat stroke. And while we was in the Superdome, I think it was a gunshot I heard. It was, it was the loudest thing we ever heard in your life. And then it echoed off the Superdome walls. And it's kind of scary. And I was asleep with that. And I'll never forget that gunshot. It was horrific. I met my friends, the, the same ones that were living by my house. My friends, he started like having doubts about what's going to happen. So. All right. So I, I had to, I was calming them down. I was just talking to him. So from there we got on the buses. It was him, me, his grandmother, his cousins, his brother. The thing about it was he was missing his mother. So I told him I ain't got no mama, I ain't got no daddy, I ain't got no brothers. None of my pets was with me. So he he felt a little better after that.